Watching butterflies metamorphose is a really incredible process. Our butterfly emergence display gives our guests the opportunity to see both butterflies and moths emerging on display. We get a shipment of about 100 to 200 butterflies per week. They're shipped to us as chrysalis and cocoons. This stage is really easy to transport because they have a protective shell or cuticle on them. Oftentimes, the coloration, the shape, the form might allow a chrysalis to camouflage better and potentially avoid being eaten by a predator. For a butterfly, their pupa is actually referred to as a chrysalis, and it's essentially a naked pupa with nothing else around it. Our silk moths that we have on display spin a silk cocoon around their pupa, and it's an extra level of protection or encasement around the pupa. We put them in the chamber, which is a special climate-controlled environment. We monitor the photo period or the hours of daylight, the humidity, the amount of moisture in the air. We want to make sure the temperature is just right so that the conditions are perfect for emergence. And our chamber is designed to allow the butterflies to hang from their chrysalis or pupa case to properly inflate their wings. We've selected species that really thrive in our exhibit. We get up to 65 different species from regions like Costa Rica, Africa, or Asia. Butterflies are really important pollinators, improving the reproductive success of many different species of plants that they pollinate, but they're also important herbivores. Butterflies are also incredible ambassadors for other animals, so people are able to explore and learn about not just butterflies, but a lot of the other plants and animals that they share their habitat with. Simply by visiting our new butterfly emergence display, visitors are actually indirectly contributing to rainforest conservation in tropical regions all around the world. And that's because our butterflies actually come from sustainable, cooperative, and independent butterfly farmers that are preserving and conserving rainforest habitat.